Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Madisonville Marine. Boats for fishing, boats for skiing, boats for relaxing on the lake, boats built for speed. You don't have to go to different dealers. You don't have to go dealer to dealer to check all those different types of boats out. Madisonville Marine has them all. All different kinds of boats in one location. That's what makes them unique. That's why they've had such success over these many, 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 many years, many decades. Highway 411 North in Madisonville, Madisonville Marine, there is no better place to buy a boat. I want to tell you that today on our overtime segment, uh, you can follow me on Twitter and I'll tell you when it's posted. We post the whole show plus this bonus segment uh, at sportsource.tv and on our YouTube channel. But follow me on Twitter. I'll tell you when it's up. We're going to talk about a lot of different rule changes the NCAA has made that's going to impact college football this fall. I want to start in this segment very quickly talking about one of them that you're going to see that's obvious. The NCAA has been trying to de-emphasize kickoffs for a while. This year, yesterday, this weekend, they've taken a bigger step toward that. Uh, they made it to where a couple of years ago, they, they pushed it to where the the 25 yard line was where we start drives mm -hmm. if you fair catch the football. So teams started skying kicks. You saw it a little bit more in the pros than you had college, but they tried to sky kicks to trap teams deep. Okay, so that didn't do away with returns. So what the NCAA has now done is if you call for a fair catch anywhere between the goal, between the end zone and the 25 yard line, ball comes out to the 25. So if they kick it to the 10-yard line, you weigh fair catch, ball comes to the 25. In other words, we don't want you returning kicks. Thoughts, gentlemen? Don't like it. It's for Next. safety. Yeah. They've seen more injuries on kickoffs than any other play. And, and the other part of that is they said the research showed that kickoff returns do not have a significant impact on games for the most part. So you got a high risk for a low reward. Well, That's how thing, yeah. far does that research go back? Are they doing it since they've started de-emphasizing the kickoffs, or are they looking back to where it, it was a bigger impact in the game. Obviously, that's less than as time has gone on, but I'd like to see where those numbers. Yeah, are and so to. many, so many teams were getting good at that directional kick to lock in a corner, yep. to where they pin the guy back there, that he's lucky to get it to the 15, and that's when you have a lot of those full speed collisions right there, when you got guys get a running, you know, 30 miles an hour almost because of the high kickoff. So, I don't know. I think that's a little drastic, but we'll see how it plays out. What's interesting is. It, at this point, to me, it's just kill it already. It's clear you don't want kickoff returns in the game. You mm -hmm. see injuries mm -hmm. there, which, okay, if, that's, if, if, if you see that that's a play that causes a lot of injuries more so than others t over history, okay? I've heard coaches say that. Mark Richt was a big proponent of that, saying it's not going to be in our game for a long time or for, for a long while to come. Uh, okay, just get rid of it. But this death by a thousand paper cuts right. that yes. they're trying to do, I'm not a fan of that. And, and I mean, even it's just just do it or don't do it. And even but the, don't the keep changing it every year. The medical staffs have a hard time checking on concussions on a regular play. On a kickoff, it's almost impossible sometimes to if you're following the ball to see that violent collision 10, 15, 20 yards away. That's another thing they try to point out. Uh, we want to thank all these guys for being with us today. Uh, thank you, guys, for being with us today. Thank all of our sponsors for bringing you this show every single week. We appreciate them. We'll be here next week uh, for uh, orange and white game coverage, even though I think they're kind of meaningless. We'll break it down. It's <laughs> no they mean a lot. <laughs> we got a lot of guys on the desk who do think they mean something. So we'll talk about the orange and white game next week. I also want to say thanks, if you've seen this, the Nashville Predators fans out there have noticed that. Uh, thanks to... Um, my friends at Sports Seasons out in uh, West Knoxville gave me a free hat. And I'm like, well, if you give me a free hat, I'll give you a free plug. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, Nashville Predators fans, get out there, pick up that hat. Uh, it's got the guitar pick. See, that's what that is. Yeah. Uh, I picked that up out there. And also, before we close, I wanted to send out our condolences to the family of uh, Lady Vol legend Deidre Charles. Uh, passed away this weekend uh, at 49, young. Um, our condolences to her family. Uh, certainly, uh, Lady Vol fans remember her in a positive, positive light from a great, great time when she was on that team. We will see you next Sunday right back here on the Sports Source on Channel 6. Thank you. The Sports Source is brought to you by Fast Frame. Shadow boxes come with a lifetime guarantee.